What's up guys, hope y'all are having a great day today. In this video, we're gonna be showing the top 10 ways to get clients for your SaaS or your social media marketing agency. Getting clients is the hardest part about running any agency, hands down. If it weren't hard, then everybody would have a successful agency, but not everybody does, and it's mainly because of this. So if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you're gonna see all of the tips and tricks on getting clients for your agency so you can scale to the moon, help a ton of businesses, and ultimately make a lot of money. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll keep giving y'all more free content just like this video. All right, guys, so we're gonna go in order from 10 all the way down to one. Just because the numbers are higher doesn't mean they're bad ways to prospect and get clients. They're still good. So 10 here is still a good way to get clients. But as we go down the list, they're just gonna get better and better. So number 10, we have door to door. And by door to door, I mean just going into businesses and having your laptop on you. Maybe you have a presentation in hopes that you can pitch the business owner or somebody at that business on your products and services. The cons of this is it's time intensive. Uh, driving from business to business can take a lot of time. And when you get there, you might not even get the chance to like talk to a business owner if they're not there or if they're just busy. And so that's the first con. Second con is it doesn't scale well because you're just one person. You can only go to so many businesses in one day. And so it's not something you can automate or I guess you could have other people doing it for you, um, but just not the most scalable way to prospect. And then the pros of this are you stand out from others and you can build relationships in your community. Um, so that's one way, like if you go into a business and you show your actual face, people respect that a lot more um, than like a cold call or a DM. And so it actually does help you kind of build your brand and build your reputation in the city or town that you live in. Number nine on the list is cold calling. This is everybody's worst fear. Everybody seems to hate cold calling and people who do try cold calling never seem to try it enough. It really does take like 40, 50, 60 calls plus to get a few booked calls and booked demos with these business owners. And so if you make 10 to 20 cold calls and you say, hey, I'm not getting any results, it's because you need to put in more reps. And as you put in more reps, you'll get better and better with it. The main cons with this is it is limited. You can only make a certain amount of calls in an hour, but ultimately you can make about 30 to 40 calls in an hour, depending on how many of the people pick up and don't pick up. You can always hire people to help you scale your cold calling. That's why there's a lot of call centers for big businesses. Um, but if you're just working by yourself, then it is limited. It does require a lot of calls as well. For me, if I make 20 to 25 calls and I get on the phone with a few people, I can book about one demo, but that's because I put in a lot of reps. I'm pretty good with my pitch. And so just as you get better, that number will shrink. You can make less cold calls and get one booked demo, but starting out, you may have to make 40 to 50 cold calls before you get that one booked demo that you could turn into a potential client. But the pros of this is you can make 40 calls an hour on average. So that's a lot of attempts to reach out to businesses. And then you can also make a solid connection with a verbal interaction. It's not face to face, so it might not be quite as good of a connection as like going door to door, but you can do way more reps and you can actually talk to somebody in real life. So it's definitely better than a DM in that aspect. It's better than just sending a message to somebody. And so that's our number nine. Number eight is cold email. Cold email can be a good tool for prospecting if you know how to use it and if you're using the right software. For cold emailing, I recommend a software called Instantly. You can send thousands of emails a day using Instantly and the majority of them, like 98% of them will land in somebody's main inbox, which is the key for cold emailing. The cons of cold emailing are it can be costly when sending thousands of emails per day, which really the minimum emails you wanna send per day if you're trying to get solid results with cold email is like a thousand a day. But if you use Instantly, you can easily send a few thousand emails a day. It is kind of costly though to get everything set up and it's a little bit of a hassle, but once you've got it set up, um, you can send tons and tons of emails. And if your emails are good and your campaigns are good, you can get really good results from it. And then also the reply rates are low. That's where I say you need to send at least a thousand a day because the reply rates are typically only around like two to 5%. And so it's pretty low. So you need to send a huge volume and that can be costly. It can cost you a couple hundred dollars a month to send a lot of emails. But the pros of cold email is that you can automate this. The emails can be sending out for you while you sleep and then it has unlimited scalability. The more emails you create, the more emails you can send per day, 
and uh, you can scale it to the moon. Number seven is voicemail drops. Go High Level has a really cool feature that you can do ringless voicemails with or voicemail drops. Basically it rings on the phone of the prospect one time and then it goes straight to their voicemail with whatever message you've pre-recorded. And so you could create a pre-recorded message of your voice talking a little bit about what you offer or just saying, hey, wanted to reach out, tell them who you're with or whatever it is. And then you can send that in bulk to like thousands of people's phone numbers. It'll ring once on their phone. So at least it's looking like you attempted to call them, but really doesn't give them the chance to answer. So it is legal to do because it does ring that one time and then leaves a personalized message. So a really cool way to get clients. The cons of this is that the average reply rate is only around 10%, but hey, it is better than like email or like DMs and that kind of thing. So the response rate's decent, but not the greatest. And then you have less control because they're the ones calling or texting you back. You're the one putting the voicemail out there in front of thousands of people. And then you just have to basically wait for them to call or text you back, which can kind of be time intensive unless you have an assistant handling those calls and texts for you. But the pros of this is that you can send a personalized recorded message of your voice telling them some sort of product or service that you have. Or maybe you have a free offer or a challenge going on. And then you can also do this in bulk using the automation feature in Go High Level. If you want me to make a video on how to do those cold voicemail campaigns using Go High Level's automations, just message me down below. But yeah, try scraping a list of names and numbers, plug them into Go High Level, run them through a cold voicemail bulk campaign and test it out. It could be really good for you if you have a really good voicemail message that you're leaving on their phones. Number six is cold audio slash videos. I'm sure you've gotten this on your Facebook or Instagram DMs. People send you a video of their face saying, hey Jasper, this is blah, blah, blah with blah, 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 trying to sell you on something. Uh, this is actually decent. It's better than a cold DM because it's more personalized or you can also do it in the form of like an audio if you don't wanna show your face and make a video. Um, the cons of this is it can be time intensive to record. To make those recordings and send them out to each person, that can take a while. Um, you could just record one audio or one video and send it to everybody, but it's better if you can put that person's first name or the name of their business in the video or the audio just because it'll sound a lot more personal and convert better. Um, and then low open rates out of fear of spam. I'm sure you've gotten a cold DM with a video. It doesn't show the video at first. It shows like, do you want to open this video? And you have to click on it to see what it is. A lot of people are kind of scared of that because they could be some sort of spam or like a bad image or something that they don't want to see. So the open rates are not great with this, but the pros are it's a personalized message with your voice or your face or both if it's a video. And then it also builds a better connection with the prospect. So all in all, it's a pretty good way to prospect if you have the time to make those videos for your potential clients. Number five is organic content. Organic content is a great way to get clients. The only con that I could think of is it can take a while to create slash test out when you're starting um, because really it's just testing out a lot of different videos, a lot of different photos, seeing which ones get a lot of attention, a lot of likes or a lot of views if it's a video. But the pros of this is that your posts can go viral on TikTok and Instagram reels even if you don't have a big following. For example, on one of my TikTok accounts, I had like a couple hundred followers and I had a video that blew up over a couple hundred thousand views when I was just starting out. So this can be really powerful. A video like that with a couple hundred thousand views could convert into like five to 10 clients. And so that's a big deal. In a video like selfie of yourself talking about something about what you do or something cool with AI that's incorporated into your business can do really well and blow up pretty easily. Uh, and then another pro is your posts will continue to collect views forever. Posting organic content is the gift that keeps on giving. The posts that I made six months ago are still getting views every day and people are still messaging me from videos that I posted a while back on my Instagram or on my TikTok or on my YouTube channel. And so organic content is gonna be a great way to get clients and just build your brand. Number four is Upwork and Fiverr. This is a great place to post what you offer. Let's say your agency offers some sort of social media services or website building or funnel creation or automation or anything that has to do with your agency offer you can post that on Upwork and Fiverr and people will type that stuff in people are every day are searching for things like that for people to help them with and uh, if your pricing is competitive with other people in that space you will get people to hire you maybe it's a low ticket item at first but then you create a relationship with that person you can then upsell them on other agency services that you offer once you get in the door with them this is actually a really smart way to get clients the only con of this is that it can be competitive there's a lot of people from other countries that are willing to work for low amounts of money. 
And so to be competitive with them, if you're in like the US or a first world country is pretty hard. But if you are from a first world country and you're doing this, you will stand out above those that might be from third world countries. So then people might be more likely to hire you if you are from a first world country. But if not, this can still work for you. And then the pros are that people are searching for your services. They're literally typing in whatever it is you offer. So they're finding you. And then you can also upsell them once you build that relationship. And so maybe try posting your services on Upwork or Fiverr. It'll just sit there. So you really aren't doing anything super actively. You're just waiting for people to reach out to you. So you just have to go in and check your DM, see if anybody's hired you or acquired about your services. Number three is Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn DMs. Other than TikTok, these are the biggest platforms in the world right now. And so the only cons of this are there is a limited number of DMs you can send per day. Facebook, that limits around like 25 to 50, I found. On Instagram, it's around 100 to 150, depending on how warmed up your account is. And then on LinkedIn, I'm not sure of that number. I think it could be unlimited on LinkedIn if you have LinkedIn Pro, which is like their paid plan. And then the other con is that there is competition for this. There's a lot of people DMing. But if you have a really good offer, like maybe some sort of free offer or something that's just like they feel stupid to say no to, those are the kind of offers that do well in the DMs and just in general. The pros of this though is you can send personalized messages and you can comment on people's posts. So if you go in, I recommend doing this. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, go look at their profile first, comment on one of their posts, friend them if it's Facebook, follow them if it's Instagram, and then go DM them and say something like, hey, is this a good place to ask questions? When you say that, they don't know if you're acquiring about their services or if you're trying to sell them something. And so they will likely say yes because they don't want to miss out on losing business themselves if you're just acquiring about their services. So they say yes, and then you can start a conversation with them, tell them what you do, and you've already engaged them in. They responded to you once, and so you got them hooked. So I always recommend send the max number of DMs you can per day. It's that 25 to 50 on Facebook, 100 to 150 on Instagram, and then over 100 on LinkedIn. Send the max amount you can or hire somebody to do it for you and it'll definitely be worth it and you'll definitely start seeing more business come in. Number two on the list is cold text message. Cold text message can be illegal um, and that's actually the first con here is it can be illegal if it's done incorrectly. It is legal though if you have iPhone and you're sending iMessages, those blue text messages between iPhone and then also on WhatsApp. So you can send these, they're gonna be 100% open rate. And that, so that goes into our first pro, which is it's a nearly 100% open rate. People will always see the message, so it can't slip past them like an email or a DM could. It's connected to your phone number, so they can easily call you back if they're interested. They can also text you back as well, but they can call you back since it's connected to your phone. And then it works well when sent from local area codes. So if you're texting people locally, it might be a good idea to get a phone number that has the three digit area code of that area. So that the people recognize the first three digits. So they know it's a local person texting them. And then number one, the best way to prospect, in my opinion, it's the way that I've gotten the majority of my clients is through Facebook groups and Discord channels. Joining Facebook groups and Discord channels is a great way to find your niche all in one place. So let's say you have real estate agents as your niche. You can search up and find tons Tons of real estate agent Facebook groups and then there's also a ton of realtor discord channels now discords becoming really popular it's kind of like the new Facebook group in a way and then you can post in these groups communicate with people talk with people you'll find people that are posting and they need help from other people and then you can just DM them from these groups and start a conversation and say hey I saw your comment looks like you need help with lead generation or with you know automation or whatever it is that they need help with and you can easily find those people in these groups. So go join a bunch of Facebook and Discord groups. The only con is you can be kicked out if you're not careful. You want to make sure you're not posting things that are way too salesy. You don't want to say, hey, I've got this, this, and this service and just post it. If you do that, the group admins may take you out of the group and kick you out. One way to get around that is instead of to post what you have, post questions that will start open-ended conversations. For example, you could say something like, how are you guys generating leads in your business? What softwares are you guys using in your business for marketing? Uh, what CRMs are you using? Where's a great place to build websites? All of these things relate to services you can offer with your agency through Go High Level. And people will start commenting. They'll say, oh, we're doing this or we're doing this. But then people will comment on those comments and say, oh, we need help with this. This sounds like a really cool idea. We want to try this or just things like that. And then you can DM those people, start a conversation and get a booked call with them to show them what you guys have. The three pros are that you can easily target your niche all in one place. The second is you can build relationships with group members through free help. You 
can offer some sort of free help to people and uh, then upsell them on your services after you've given them some sort of free value or free help with a post that you made. And then the third is that your posts get in front of a lot of people in your niche at once. So it's like running Facebook ads where you target people, but instead of paying for it, it's completely free. And so try these Facebook groups and Discord channels and you'll find a ton of success and get clients from it if you're handling it and doing it the right way like I explained in this video. Well, that's it guys. These have been the top 10 proven ways to get clients for your agency. If you haven't started your agency yet, you can get access to my free SaaS masterclass down below this video. It walks you step-by-step step on how to start your own SaaS agency using Go High Level, which is an all-in-one software platform that helps you run your agency and has a ton of really cool marketing tools. And so check that out down below. Also, if you wanna start using the Go High Level software to start an agency, you can get a 30-day free trial down below with my affiliate link. If you sign up with my link, I'll give you free one-on-one -on -one help. I'll jump on Zoom calls with you twice a week and I'll just mentor you and help to make sure you're successful in your agency. Other than that, guys, I appreciate y'all's support. Thanks for sticking through to the end of this video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.